So what exactly will happen in the transaction? Writing will happen or reading will happen. That is the most two important operation which will happen in the transaction. Serial schedule in the sense what? So the task will be executed one by one. Concurrent in the sense simultaneously. When a processor is executing the task, okay, you need to observe this concurrent simultaneously it is executed. Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the yet another interesting session with respect to the transactions. So guys, what do I have in this session for all of you? It's all about transaction and schedules. So let's understand this in detail, what exactly that we have. So when it comes to the transaction, a DBMS will understand this transaction as a series or a list of actions. So fine, so that is what the DBMS will understand. So when it comes to the transaction, so what exactly will happen in the transaction? Writing will happen or reading will happen. That is the most two important operation which will happen in the transaction. When it comes to the assumption, two important assumptions can be made with respect to the transaction. What is that? The communication always will happen via database. What is the meaning of it, sir? Say for example, I'm reading something, okay? I have to read through or via database. If I'm writing something, I have to write via database. That's the most important point that I have to observe with respect to the assumption number one and assumption number two. So observe here. The action of transaction T, okay? Whenever I see transaction, I will be denoting the transaction as T is what you need to remember. Reading an object O. So if I call it as an object, so I will be representing that as a O and observe. And if I'm reading anything, so I will be mentioning that as a R to the base T. And if I'm writing anything, W to the base T is what you need to remember. So whenever I'm reading, so I'll be mainly using R. Whenever I'm writing, I'll be mainly using W is what you need to remember. And I have to mention the state of the transaction if it is completed successfully. I should mention by saying it commit or if it is abort, I should mention that at the end of the transaction. That's most important is what you need to remember to save the state of the transaction. So fine, we understood that when it comes to a most important thing. So guys, we have two different types of schedules. What exactly that? We have serial schedule. Another one is non-serial schedule. What exactly serial schedule is all about and what exactly non-serial schedule is all about? It's very interesting and very simple. Let's understand that with this diagram. Serial schedule in the sense what? So the task will be executed one by one. So at the same time, both two tasks, or the two transactions will not happen. That's what you need to observe here. So here I have the task. I will read and I will write and I will read and I will write. So observe here. I have the files. I'm reading the file A and I'm writing a file A. So I'm reading a file C, writing file C. Observe here after that, read B, write B. So guys, transaction is happening serially one after the other sequentially at the same time nothing is happening here that's what you need to observe here all right so this is what i will call it as a serial schedule so this is what i will call it as a serial schedule that's what you need to observe here so fine observe here what exactly is happening non-serial schedule so guys i'm reading a what is that i'm doing i'm reading a in the transaction one then after that, I'm performing some operation A minus 50. Some operation I'm just generally we have taken. So then after that, write A. So what is the operation that we are performing? Write A. So when we are performing write A, so guys, we are also performing read A in the transaction too is what you need to remember. All right. So that's what you need to observe. I have per, I'm performing some operations here and then we are performing write A. So when we are performing write A, so observe here, again I have read B, I'm reading the B, I'm performing something and I'm writing B. So in the same way, I'm, somebody is reading, okay? So this is what I will call it as a non-serial. There is no sequentially, we are not executing the transaction. So that is what I will call it as a non-serial. That's what you need to observe here. Guys, when it comes to the concurrent execution, this is the main important thing that you need to remember. So what exactly that we need to understand with respect to the concurrent execution. So when I say concurrent, that's a word that you need to remember very importantly. Concurrent in the sense simultaneously, when a processor is executing the task, okay, you need to observe 
this concurrent simultaneously it is executing what is the meaning of simultaneously sir so when i'm executing i will be having a queue so queue of what i will be having a different transactions which will be in the queue so when it is in the queue you need to understand each transaction will take different amount of time for its execution so in that case imagine that transaction number one will take two minutes for its execution in transaction number two will take seven minutes for its execution in the same way transaction number three might take only one minute so what the transaction number three should do until the transaction number two executes by taking seven minutes so the transaction number three should wait so in this case how do we solve this problem so guys what we perform is whenever an input output operation is required during the execution of any other transaction at that particular point of time the processor will be free so that it can take up any other transaction which is in the queue so that is what you need to remember with respect to the concurrent execution of transactions so this is the concept which will save a lot of time and it will help us to execute the task concurrently is what you need to remember so that's all about the concurrent transactions is what you need to remember so guys with this i have come to an end of this topic so let's discuss some more topic in the next session till then take care bye bye